South Carolina General Assembly upheld one of Governor Nikki Haley's vetoes this afternoon. She vetoed a bill to put new restrictions on mopeds, and the House did not have enough votes to override the veto. So now it's dead for the year. 7 News Capitol reporter Robert Kittle tells us what the bill would have done and why the governor said no. The bill would have put several new restrictions on moped drivers. They would have to wear reflective vests so they would be easier for drivers to see. Moped drivers under 21 would have to wear helmets. And all drivers would have to register their mopeds, get tags, and have either a driver's license or moped license. It would also close the DUI loophole for mopeds. Currently, under the law, because of the way mopeds are defined, you cannot be charged or convicted of a DUI offense if you were riding a moped under the influence of alcohol or other substances on the, on the roadways. This is an extremely dangerous situation that has gone on uh, for, for many years. The governor vetoed the bill because she says it's government overreach. She says the government shouldn't be telling 18, 19, and 20 year olds who can vote and serve in the military that they have to wear helmets and reflective vests. But supporters pointed out they have to wear helmets and reflective vests on all military bases. House Democrats took the governor's side. Why are we not reaching even further and making people that ride bicycles wear green safety vests? In fact, let's make them wear helmets too. Why not? If we're doing it for people on mopeds, we should do it for people on bicycles. Supporters point to an increase in moped deaths last year as the main need for the bill. We are going to see more people lose their lives because we will not take care of business here. This is not government overreach. There were not enough votes to override the governor's veto, so the moped bill is dead for the year. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 News. Lawmakers are also going through the governor's budget vetoes and voting whether to override them. She vetoed 51 items from the budget totaling $41.1 million.